Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a closer look at the newly released fantasy generator Feast Gacha called Radiant Fantasy. This will run from March 16 to April 16 in the Sea and Global servers. We'll also explore the new Freight Coin mechanics which has just been implemented. Furthermore, we'll also discuss the new gacha machine added in the China server. Alright, without further ado, let's begin. First up, let's take a look at the Radiant Fantasy costumes themselves. This is the Moonlight Scale series for females and Gloomy Night Watch series for males. This will unlock 1% magic attack and attack and will have a 1% def and mdef deposit reward. Next for the headgears, we have the Star Wish Headwear series which grants plus 4% attack and plus 4% demi-human damage. And the Moon Spirit Headwear series which grants plus 4% magic attack and plus 4% demi-human damage. Next, we have the Firefly Flame Head Item which gives plus 5 Vit, plus 1000 Max HP, and plus 5% Healing Received. It has a plus 3 Magic Attack and plus 30 Max HP Deposit Reward. Next, we have the Stardust Laurel Head Item which gives plus 5 Vit, plus 1000 Max HP, and plus 5% Bonus Healing. It has a plus 3 Attack and plus 30 Max HP Deposit Reward. Up next, we have the Butterfly Whisper Star Chatter Back Item. This gives plus 10% damage to plant rays and less 10% damage received from plant race monsters. Notably, it has a plus 6 magic attack deposit reward. For the tail item, we have the cute feather moon moth which gives plus 10 attack and additional 1 attack for every 3 points of strength. It has a plus 6 attack deposit reward. For the face item, we have the zodiac revelation which gives plus 2 to all attributes and plus 8% neutral attack. This will be good for increasing the damage of neutral skills of Chronomancers and Lightbringers. Depositing this gives plus 16 max HP. Next, we have the Cloud Pillow Dream Mouth item, which gives plus 8% damage to MVP and mini monsters. This is perfect for boss hunting and clearing instances. Depositing this gives plus 16 max HP. And lastly, we have the Light Chasing Dream Feather Back item. This beautiful wing item gives plus 2 to all attributes plus 4% pen, and plus 4% M-pen. It has a plus 90 max HP deposit reward. Aside from costumes and headwares, this Feast Gacha also has a new set of honoraria items you can get. First, for bloody branches, you may either get the Bloody Dead Branch Feast which can summon a mini, or the Magic Branch Feast which can summon an MVP. Second, there are now free colors of King Poring's gift card which you can use for re-rolling. Third, you can now get a Nolan card gift box which grants 500 up to 5,000 Nolan cards which can be used to randomly get a mini or MVP card. Fourth, there's also a chance to get 2 to 10 Frey coins. Fifth are the Varus pet headgears and a pet box which grants a random pet excluding those from collab events. Sixth, there are new kinds of base and job EXP potions you can get which grant 6 million base or job EXP. And lastly, there are new coin pouches which give 5 million and 3 million zenny. Also, there's an updated Apiti system when drawing using BCC. Pulling 50 times will now grant the Light Chasing Fantasy Outfit Self Select Voucher, wherein you get to select any costume color that you like. The new Pity system is a welcome addition to those who just want the 1% attack and magic attack unlock reward. Up next, let's discuss the new Frey Coin mechanics. As you can see in the first page of the Frey Coin Shop, combining 5 costume shards will now let you choose any costume color you like. In addition, you can now avail any of the current month's Feast Gacha Headwear Voucher using 12 Frey Coins. This will be useful if there's a specific headwear you really like from the current Gacha. However, this does not include the wings. And then on the second and third pages of the Frey Coin Shop, all previous Feast Gacha costume and headwear vouchers were removed except for the Elite Adventure series. In addition, there are three previous Feast Gacha series vouchers to choose from, which will change every three months. From March to June, we have the following. The Spring Brocade series which was released last February 2019 in C Server as a BCC box that gives guaranteed costume of your choice and all the headwares. Next is the Flowery Night series which was not yet released before in C and Global servers. It has a 1% attack and magic attack unlock reward and 200 HP deposit reward. 
and third is a Forest Deer series which was released last September 2019 in C and Global servers. The upside of this is that there will be a 20% discount, meaning the costume voucher will only cost 24 Frey coins while the headwear voucher will cost only 9 Frey coins. In addition, you get to choose a specific costume color you want. The downside is of course you have to wait 3 months for the options to change. Lastly, let's talk about the new gacha machine that was implemented last March 10 in the China server. There's still no news if this will be implemented outside of China server, so take this information with a grain of salt. This new gacha machine is found beside the card gacha machine in Pantera and will last up to June 10. It features a variety of headwears and costumes from previous Feast and Headwear gacha series, and it will change every 3 months. So if you have an outfit or headwear that you missed before, you can now have a chance to get it. The headwear and costume you'll get are limited to those that you haven't unlocked in the Adventure Handbook. In addition, if you already have unlocked any of the series costume or series headwear, you will no longer get other colors from the same series. So don't worry about receiving repeat items. Aside from costumes and headwares, you can also get the new currency called Proof of Reunion, which can be used to redeem headwear and fashion items of your choice. Thus, if you want a specific color of costume, you can use the Proof of Reunion instead. You can draw a reward using 30 golden tickets or 30 BCC. There's also an option to draw 10 consecutive times using 300 BCC, which grants 10 plus 1 rewards. Another notable thing about this new gacha is that the chances will vary from player to player as it depends on your unlocks in the Adventure Handbook. The fewer headgears you've unlocked, the higher the chance of drawing an un unlocked costume or headgear, and the lower the chances of getting the proof of reunion and vice versa. This will be a good bonus to increase chances of getting a new headgear or costume you haven't unlocked. Alright, so far I've gone through all the new March 2021 Rage and Fantasy Feast gacha items and also discuss the new changes to the Frey Coin Shop and the possible new gacha machine. Comment down below what you guys think of these new changes. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, I would love you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.